Welcome back, family and friends. And I've got the Crypticarium for September. The Crypticarium for Partial Terror, that is. And this should be the annual Halloween edition of the Partial Terror, I believe. Shipped out in September, so it arrived right here in the sweet spot of middle of October. So, this arrived a few days ago, so let's get it open and see what we got here. Alright, we got them open. Oh, duck knife. For those who don't know, my little duck knife. It's a little keepsake from my passed away grandmother, and I love I love that little knife. Alright, we got black paper. Let's see if I can get the flyer first. I see a nice Halloween orange flyer. So there we go. Yep. There we go. Halloween edition. Little witch down here. <laughs> so that's great. Welcome to the sixth annual Halloween edition of the Partial of Terror. It's no secret that it's, this is my favorite edition of the year. I always try to bring you folks something new and exciting. To that extent, the main piece included in this box is something I've wanted to make for a long, long time. So, all right, let's get to it then. Yep, Crypt Carry on Partial Terror has been going for six years now. Wow! And I've got every edition. That's insane. So, if you want to see a lot of stuff that's featured from the Crypt Carry on Partial Terror, I always put up a playlist of Crypt Carry on Partial Terror and other items from CryptCarrom.com in the playlist below on the description box so check that out you see all kinds of great handcrafted horror stuff so that said grabbing this out we got of course a little halloween goodie bag a little pumpkin bag which is like we got some uh fun size milky ways sucker in there and some chocolate and a little sour twizzler sour punch twizzler type thing and the Milky Mini Way. Milky Mini Way. What is that? But anyway, the fun size Milky Way little fun candy bars. But I call them piss you off size because they're so little. You just want to eat like 25 of them. They're not fun size at all. But thankful for that. All right, we got some, uh, some artwork this month. And could this be some... artist that is always featured let's see well, that's pretty cool it's like a little halloween trick-or-treat trail going into a monster's mouth or it could be a trap of some sort for a trick-or-treating as you can see right here i can get another good look at this later when we go through the uh, the flyer of the items but it's like a monster back here you have a candy bar. Cheetah grabs it, gets slucked, sucked right inside. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if this is the same Heimer's work, but we'll see. Couldn't remember his name a while ago. We got another one here. Ooh, one of these I love. This is just like a raven or a crow sitting on a, a jack o' lantern. It's pretty, pretty neat. I like it. Got some really dark um, orange and purples. There you go. Quite a few art pieces this week, this month. Next up, I really like this one. This is a fun, like, cartoony um, style here. Just look at this. Look at that. Let's take that in. I'll hold it there for a second. <laughs> Very, uh... Vintage cartoon style. You know? Love it. Alright. And here is the Cryptocurum business card. One in every box. Link will be in the description below if you want to visit Cryptocurum. Get your partial terror every month. And we have a whopper. We also have another flyer here. of a short story 
Don't Forget Your Candy, A Tale by Ken James. It's a short story. Be fun to read to the kids this coming Halloween night. Maybe I'll read it to them. But it, uh, Jason Kitchens always features some uh, spooky Halloween short stories by his fellow friends and artists and writers and things in the Halloween edition of Partial Terror every year. But we got this here in the box. Oh, wow. We got a good look at the back of this. I hope this thing, this thing is amazingly interesting. The Sentinel Jackling. And if y'all don't know what Jacklings are, they're his, uh, he features Jacklings. He sells Jacklings on, um, on the Cryptocurrency website. And they're just little sculpts of different little jack-o'-lantern figures doing different little things. But look on the back of this guy. It's kind of like a build-your-own Sentinel Jackling. Jack, jackling. And I'll tell you more about it, and we'll put it to the other after I go through the flyer real quick for these items. But this looks amazing. Looks amazing. It's got a little tombstone in there. All right, let's go through the flyer, and when we get to that, I'll pull it out of the package. All right, first thing on it <laughs> is the thing I just had. So we're going to make that the last item we go to. All right. Brandon Zimmerman. The kind of various print gives you a classic gothic Halloween vibe of his Hall his moody painting of the anonymous raven perched on a grinning jack-o'-lantern. So this one is from Brandon Zimmerman, I believe. Oop. Yes. Getting off track here. The Corvirus print. Right there. Next up, we have the Pumpkin Punks. That's got to be the old vintage look thing. Kelly Capronelli, is that how you say it? Has conjured up a playful print of Pumpkin Punks. Kind of varying in the convert Carousing in the cemetery. Can't read. On a Halloween night. That is very fun. I love the old vintage look of it. All right, and don't forget your candy, an original. Nope, oh, sorry, that's the, the short story. I'll tell you that in a second. You were warned. Art print by Sam Heimer brings us a cautionary tale to warn trick or treaters of the dangers of lurking in the far off places of Halloween. So if you go off the beaten path, you might get slurped up by a monster. Thought that was Sam Heimer. I have gotten used to his signature style. That is pretty neat. Let me get it in there so you can see it again. You got a monster in the back back there and a candy trap right here. Suck them right up. All right. And when next up, we got the Don't Forget Your Candy short story, an original Halloween short story by Ken James of Other Dangerous Podcast. So there you go. And now we're going to get back to this big boy. The Sentinel Jack Lang Articulating Figure. A new addition to the ever-growing family of Jack Langs and the first ever articulating piece by Cryptocarium. Featuring three points of articulation and a grave of lantern jack accessory. This thing is eight and a quarter inches tall. Please see included leather for assembly. So, and it's got a sort a story in, associated story inside. So, let's pop this open real quick. See if I can get y'all guys a good look of this, and we'll put it together real quick. That is interesting. I like that. Here's the little topper. It's usually stapled on top of the package, but he just threw it inside. All right, here's the flyer and instructions on putting it together. Instructions right here. Well, I think I might have figured it out right quick for you guys. And here's the Sentinel Jackling story. Right there. Should I read it? Y'all want to hear it? Uh, 
Sure, why not? Real quick. It's the Halloween season. It's not that long, so bear with me in my horrible reading. Many have tried to discover the resting place of Lantern Jack Holloway. The legend tells that those who find his grave in the right season and under the right conditions could summon Lantern Jack and ask a favor. However, one of the centuries there have been individuals, however, over the centuries there have been individuals who have come seeking Jack's grave for meticulous intentions, for malicious intentions. I can't read. Some wishes to possess Jack's power, and others wish to destroy Jack's headstone in an attempt to swap him out due to religious favors. Jack foresees. Jack foresaw that the unworthy would seek him out, so he thought his energetic powers, he formed the first of the Jacklings, the Sentinel Jackling, which we'll get to in just a minute. This hulking figure was compri comprised of pumpkin vine body and a jack-o'-lantern head and would be remain hidden and dormant nearby until it is needed to defend Jack's grave. Those who had come with the correct spirit uttering the appropriate intention, incantation would be permitted to de de course I can't read. Sorry folks, I'm just torture, isn't it? Would be permitted to decourse with Jack However, those who came with ill intentions and wishing harm would cause would cause the Jackling, Sentinel Jackling, to quickly spring to life and eradicate them. Over the years, countless individuals have disappeared while searching for Jack's grave, and to this day, only the most brave or most foolish attempt to search for it. Boom! There you go. That was that was that was torture. Sorry. It's a one take read though, sorry. Alright, we're gonna put it together real quick. I'm gonna show you the little accessory, the little skeleton jack accessory. Okay, there we go. It's gonna get it in there. Here's Lantern Jack Holloway's tombstone, I'm assuming. Got a little pumpkin down there, you got vines. And this is very retro feel, little figure type thing. It's cast very well. It really looks like something you would see in a Halloween store for sure. Love that. All right, now we're gonna get to the. I'll show you the head right quick. Boom! A little jack o' lantern on head. Lots of detail. Lights, of course, are too bright, like they always are. I like that little grin coming up the side there. And here's the body, old pumpkin vine body. Very swamp thing-ish, I like that. Feet, a lot going on there. Back right there. Put the arm in. Let's put the other arm in. There's his hands, look at the little hands. All right, that is awesome. And let's pop the head on. Boom, there you go. Look at this guy. Look at that, amazing. You can move his arms up and down. His legs don't move, but his arms and his head twist. So there are your three parts of articulation. You got your head movement back and forth. And you got your left and right arms that go up and down. I love that little squeak noise. Let's give y'all a good once over of him put together. Get his arms in there. And we're going to proudly display him back on the shelf back here. Alright. The back side again. It's nice and green, the light, nice and green and orange. The lights wash it out, make it look very light green, but it's kind of very dark, bright green. So there we go. He's gonna look great back here by the Headless Horseman that was in one of the Halloween partial terrors over the years. He had the Headless Horseman wall plaque from years ago. He had the uh, 
Flying Jack Pumpkin. Pumpkin. I, I can't remember the name of this, but Jack of Lantern Wings, Wall Plaque. It's huge. Love it. And this is one of my favorite items that got sent over a Halloween from Crypticurium. It's, uh, can't remember the name of it. Could be an old Jack Lantern or something. Yeah, this actually might be Lantern Jack himself. The Lantern Jack himself wall plaque. Look at that. I like the pumpkins in the bottom. And this thing does not do it justice on a camera. It is so much detail in there. And it's a nice bright Halloween orange. But now I got a Sentinel Jack. Jack Lane is then up on the shelf. Let's see, let's see if he'll stand up. Will he stand up? He will. There he goes. He's up there proudly. I think I'm going to stand him to the side just in case. There we go. He looks a little better to the side there. But everybody, that was the 6th Annual Halloween Cryptocurium Partial of Terror. And also, I'm going to add a few notes here. If you are a subscriber to this Partial of Terror and the CryptoCast figurine, um, monthly figurine, you would have included in spots, got a skeleton ghost figurine. That would have been cool. But I can only afford to get the Partial of Terror, so that's fine. I love supporting the Partial of Terror. And that's it. Thank you for the subscription of Partial Terror. Hope this package makes you this Halloween a little bit better for you. And next month for the official October Partial Terror is Mermaids. So that should be interesting. And what was your favorite item? In this box. Of course, I love that Sentinel Jackling. I gotta put the little tombstone up there. Forgot to do that. So let's put that up there. Right at his feet. Now he's guarding. He's guarding general <laughs> can't talk Lantern Jack's grave. He blends in nicely with all these you know strange guys up here. Now he's the tallest one back here. That's amazing. And it's the tallest script carrying piece I have. So that's cool. Alright everybody. I'm gonna try to get some pictures and put them at the end of the video. Hopefully they look okay. Can't guarantee that. Never never say I guarantee that, but I'm going to see if I can get some pictures of that guy with a little better detail. So thanks for subscribing. If not, subscribe now. Link in the description below. Click the button. Turn the bell the notification on so you know when I do upload videos. And I'm going to try to do a few more here soon. So like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for visiting your geeky neighbor. Bye.